everybody, this is Chad at round two. So we're coming back again this month to bring you guys another product spotlight video. So this is for May 2020. Again, we're still working uh, remote at round two. So we're doing the video in my garage instead of doing it in the warehouse. But I was able to get uh, all the stuff in to show you guys. This is all coming within the next four to six weeks. So keep an eye out for it. We've got a lot of really neat stuff coming out. There's new uh, 164 scale releases for both Johnny Lightning and Auto World. There's two new Auto World 118 scale cars coming out too that are really awesome. There's uh, four new slot cars coming out, silver screen slot cars for Auto Worlds. So we're gonna show those off. And then we have nine new model kits, including a newly tooled kit uh, for a car kit that you guys are really gonna love and a newly tooled Star Trek kit, and then some figural stuff, some car stuff, and some big rig stuff as well. So a lot of really neat stuff. We're gonna jump right in. We're gonna get started with the models. All right, so first off for models, we have a super great newly tooled car. We've been kind of teasing this one for a while on some of our videos. A lot of you guys have been waiting for it. We've been waiting to bring it out. Super, super excited for this. The Supernatural 1967 Chevy Impala Sport Sedan. So some of the really awesome stuff about this kit uh, this is a new tool body for this to make the four-door version. Uh, it's got newly tooled interior panels and pieces as well. Got the custom wheels to match the car on the show and a lot of other really neat features too. You can kind of see some better pics of it here. Uh, for Sam and Dean's car on the show, you got the, uh, the spotlights and everything that come with it too. And there's a look, spotlights and bumper guards. You can see a better look at how that four-door body looks with those custom wheels. It's got an opening hood with the detailed big block engine with it also. And uh, of course, decals and everything that, that come with that, that match the show. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back. We're really excited to see how you guys build this one up, what kind of creepy dioramas you might do and other cool stuff that, uh, that you can do with this kit. So super excited about this one. Uh, keeping up with the car kits. Next, we also have the 65 Ford Fairlane Modified Stocker. So this is next in the series of our Modified Stocker kits. So some of the really neat features about this, it does have pre-lettered uh, pre racing tires with it. We updated the decal sheet for it, uh, kept this vintage style packaging. You can see some of the really neat features here too. There's that roll cage, the front rear bumper braces, those super wide Goodyear vinyl slick tires. There's that big 427 wedge engine and uh, just a lot of really, really neat features with this kit. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back. If you guys wanna see what all is in there and kind of a look at those, those decals that come with it as well. And next, keeping up with the car kits, tons of them coming out this month. The 1960 Ford Ranchero. So this is a super cool kit. It's got this all new artwork with it. Great looking artwork. It comes with uh, a couple different, different cool options here. Um, you got white wall tires that come with the kit, detailed stock wheels, and some nice uh, Coca-Cola things, including this ice chest, which would be great for dioramas to build up. You've got uh, some some uh, crates that come with it as well. You've got a all new decal sheet that comes with the kit, and a look at that parts tree too. Again, just a really awesome one that we are excited to see what you guys do. What kind of rancheros you build? What different uh, takes you have on it? It's just a really exciting one to uh, to come out with. Next up, this one has been highly requested. This is 1988 Ford Mustang GT, the Fox Body Mustang in 125th scale. So some of the uh, neat features with this kit, we have done uh, all new decals for it with some cool options here. You can see all the uh, the striping that comes with it, different license plates, badges, all that stuff. If you want to do the uh, do the racing striping options, you can do that with the kit. And some of the other cool features, you got optional T-tops, you can do stock wheels and tires, or those super cool late 80s three-spoke custom wheels and tires. You've also got uh, custom engine parts for the 5.0, bucket seats, lots of really neat stuff there. And here's a look at that parts tree. So you can see kind of some of those options and parts and pieces that come with it. And also for car kits, we have the 1963 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. This is the advanced customizing kit. So some of the really uh, neat things about this kit, it is a three in one, so you can build it stock, you can build it custom, and you can build it advanced custom with some pretty crazy parts that it comes with. So it's a ton of different options with this kit. Uh, we have pad printed tires with it as well. Kept that vintage style packaging, of course. And we did expand uh, the decal sheet, did an all new decal sheet for it. Here's a look at some of these options, crazy options on this thing. You can do the stock engine, or you can do a supercharger on the engine. 
You can do stock wheels with white wall tires. You can do custom wheels, different seats. There's a stock hood, there's moon caps, fender skirts, a custom hood if you want to do that supercharger, and some of the advanced custom parts to make just really crazy looking custom with it. And it's just really neat kit. And there's a look too at the uh, the decal sheet. You can see a lot of the custom kind of low rider paint job uh, that comes with it and just tons of different options for this one. So we love bringing out these three in one kits because there's just so many different things that you can do with it and nobody builds two of them the exact same way. So it's just super cool. And there's a look at that parts tree on that kit as well. And next up, lastly for car slash big rig, this is a big one. The Holloway Trailer, five car automobile transporter. So this is a 125th scale kit. It is huge, can hold up to five 125th scale cars, 20 inches in length. It's got movable ramps on it, which you can kind of see here. Movable upper loading ramps, lower loading ramps, and it can attach to any of the AMT uh, big rig kits. So we've got the decals in it. Uh, there's a look at kind of the detailed suspension some of the other really cool options and there's even a look over here there's just four of the uh the other kits that we brought out these can all be built uh built separately and then put the five car hauler on it have a great display piece to put all your other builds up on and there's a look at that big parts tree on that one too again just a super super cool kit one we're really excited for Next, we're going to jump in and kind of show you guys some of the pop culture sci-fi stuff. So the big one, Star Trek Discovery USS Enterprise NCC-1701. So this is our 1-1000 scale kit. You might remember we did a Star Trek Discovery uh, Enterprise in a smaller scale uh, snap kit a little while ago. This one is nearly 18 inches long. Um, it's obviously all new tooling, uh, paint and glue required. So this is a level 2 kit, and it comes with a lot of really cool features too. Um, there's clear parts in it, which are great for lighting. We are going to uh, be making, we're making a lighting kit coming out for this, uh, this as well, uh, and an Aztec decal sheet that will be coming out. It just does have uh, registry and pennant decals included with it. Um, it does have the dome base that you can display everything. You can get a look at some of that detailing on there. And again, just some really, really neat stuff. Some pictures of the ship from the show, and there's a look at uh, kind of some of the some of the decals that come along with the kit. Again, another really cool kit. We love bringing out the Star Trek stuff and especially doing these new Discovery kits. So we're always really excited to see how you guys build those up as well. We do have figural kits too. Here's the next in our Haunted Manor series, the Grave Robber's Demise. So you might remember we just started bringing these Haunted Manor kits back out. So some of the really fun things about these kits, uh, we do mold them in glow in the dark. So if you want to paint sections of it and have sections glow, you can do that. Glow in eyes, whatever you want to do, or leave it unpainted and make the whole thing glow in the dark, too. Uh, this is 1 1 12th scale. Um, it's a skill level 2 kit for this one as well. And some of the really fun features with this, it's got the rubber band action to open up the casket, pop out the corpse of it. And it's just really neat. These kits are super fun, and it's really cool to see how they all get built up and what happens with them. So another one we're really excited about. And lastly, we do have one more in the figural kit in our Jolly Roger, the Pirate Series, the Duel with Death. The 1 1 12 scale kit. This is also molded glow in the dark, so if you want to do something creepy with it uh, in that way, you can. Glowing eyes, glowing skeleton, whatever you want to do. And some of the really cool stuff. This has action, double action as well uh, to get the sword fight moving. It comes with the uh, bonus medallion and coin with it. You can see some of the spare parts, uh, parrots and little bones and skulls and all of that stuff that come with the kit so another one we're just excited we love doing these fun kind of figural kits and you guys seem to be loving them too so that is everything we've got for the models next we're going to jump in and show you guys 164th all right so first off in 164th we've got a new release for our 10 diorama series so the first car in this release is a 1964 and a half ford mustang and what's awesome about this, this is actually the very first Ford Mustang that was introduced at the 1964 to 1965 World's Fair. So we have made this one look exactly like the one that was at the World's Fair. You can actually see it on the back of the tin diorama there. It's got red with the red interior and of course the vinyl top with that white and beige look, chrome wheels, white line tires, and just a really cool release there. Great, uh, great 
display unit for it. And there's nothing better than just the very first 64 and a half Mustang. So also in this diorama release, in a similar vein, we've got the other pony car, 1967 Chevy Camaro, first release for this one uh, in that tin diorama. So this was the very first Chevy Camaro that came off the line at their Norwood, Ohio plant. This one is done in gold with matching interior. It's got white line tires on it. That great looking front end. And you can see kind of a look at the that original uh, that original Camaro as well. Also for Johnny Lightning, we have a new release for Muscle Cars USA. There's six cars in this release, two colors, an A and B version. First one here is the 1971 Plymouth Duster 340 in that great looking curious yellow. Just an amazing Mopar color for that. You can see the uh, it's got the black roof with the 340 wedge uh, decal on it. It's got the striping along the side, the color matched curious yellow centers, and the uh, those white letter tires on it as well. So great looking car to take to the racetrack. But version B, a little more nuanced, formal black. This is this is the duster for date night. So we've got gloss black on the outside here, black interior, super sleek looking car, and it's got the Goodyear. Goodyear uh, white letter tires on that one as well. Just enough to make something else pop off that black there. And second in this release, another great looking Mustang, 1965 Ford Mustang GT. Version A here is in Raven Black. And some of the really cool details on this one, it's got the red striping along the bottom. It has double red striping right there on the, uh, on the tires, which looks great. And the red interior to really give it some cool detail on it. And second version is Caspian Blue Poly. So this one has different red striping along the side of it. Really looks great with that dark, dark blue. And it's got that uh, dual red line uh, striping on the tires as well. And white interior. So both great looking cars look awesome together too. And just ones that are should be really cool. Look good in your displays. Next in the release... 1968 AMC AMX in Laurel Green Poly for version A. It's got the AMC striping on the side of it there. There's just that small uh, dual black racing stripes on the top. Got the red line tires, chrome wheels, and just a great looking late 60s color uh, for that one. Version B, another great looking earth tone type color, Calcutta Russet Poly in brown. Uh, it's that brown, uh, kind of chocolate brown color. And it is the red line tires on that one as well. Chrome wheels. Got beige interior on it. Just another great looking car. Third, a 1969 Chevy Impala SS convertible in Hugger Orange. So you can see it here with the black interior. Great looking color for that convertible. And it's got the, uh, the red line tires on that one as well. And uh, silver wheels that go with it. Version B. Another great GM color, Fathom Green Poly on this one. And it actually has color matched fathom green poly wheels as well. If you guys can see that. Black interior and red line tires on that one. Fifth in the release, 1968 Pontiac Firebird, version A in solar red. Black vinyl top. Great looking, just great looking car all around. Got that great Firebird front end on it. And version B, probably my favorite, Meridian Turquoise Poly. Just an awesome looking color with that white top on it. Got the uh, chrome wheels with it. And just a great, great looking, looking Firebird there. And lastly for the Muscle Cars release, another awesome looking GM, the 1968 Olds Cutlass W31 Ramrod in Sapphire Blue Poly. There it is, you can see the white striping on it. You can see the color matched wheels on there, Firestone uh, tires and the matching blue interior. And the second version here, version B, is in Provincial White with red line tires. It's got the red striping, red interior, and again, chrome wheels. Just a great looking car. Lastly, for 164th, we do also have 2020 Release 2 for Auto World. So first in this release is our brand new 2019 Chevy Silverado High Country. This is a new tool for us. So first one here, version A, is in North Sky Blue. First release of this casting ever. Great looking color on it. And you can just see how big that uh, how big that casting is. Of course, true 164 scale like all the auto worlds are. And great detail on the front end there. 
another one we're really excited to bring out. We've been loving doing these trucks. And version B, you gotta have it in black too. The chrome wheels and all the cool detailing on that one as well. Second in the Auto World release, this is the next variation for our square body Chevy, the 1977. First one here is the Bonanza C10 fleet side in a brown iridescent with this neutral white, kind of a beige, uh, beigeish eggshell white that goes along the side of it. And it's really cool orange striping that goes on it as well. And version B for that, the 77 Cheyenne C10 fleet side. Um, has that great looking red color with the white striping on that, white striping on the top, and of course the 1977 front end on it. And we've still got tons more cool variations uh, for these square bodies that we're coming out with, so expect to see more of those soon. Third in the release, the next uh, variation for our 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. So first one here is in firecracker red, got that black top on it, black over fenders, it's got the uh, BF Goodrich mud terrain tires, of course the stock wheels that are matching. Just a great looking, another great looking casting here. And second, uh, billet silver, again with the black accents and the uh, white letter tires. Just another really cool looking casting for that. Next up, 1975 Buick Estate Wagon. So some of the neat stuff about this one, it's got this silver mist poly color on the outside, white line tires, those cool custom looking five spoke wheels on it. It also has a red interior, which really looks great on that silver. And you can get a look at that, uh, that 1975 front end. And Verde Mist Poly for version B with the wood grain. I mean, you gotta have a wood grain variation for the wagon. Got the white line tires on that as well. And just really great detailing on that. Love doing the wagons, love bringing them out. We'll have some more wagons coming too. Next up, fifth in this release, the 2011 Chevy Camaro RSSS. So this first version here is in Synergy Green. If you can see, really great looking metallic shine that that Synergy Green has. Got the black striping going down it. Black wheels with the chrome lip. And version B is Imperial Blue. And you can see here, it's got the the dual racing stripes, white racing stripes on it, chrome tires on that one, and just great looking variation for that. And lastly, we've got the 1966 Chevy Chevelle SS 396. First version here in blue. This blue poly color, it's real dark blue. You can see the uh, the red line tires on that one. It's got the uh, all the detailing, all the uh, chrome, chrome accents and everything on it. And just a great looking car. And version B in white with the red line tires on that. Black vinyl top. And again, just great looking detail all around on that one. So that's everything we got for 164th. Next we'll jump in and show you guys 118. All right, so first off for 118, we've got a really unique one for you guys, the 1970 Shelby GT500 convertible. So some of the really neat stuff about this one. Again, it is that 1970 Shelby, so it has the uh, Shelby front end on it, which was different than uh, than any of the other Mustangs in that year. Just a real standalone car. This one is actually um, from a cover car from Hemmings of July 2010. You can kind of see the cover here, drag pack, drop top. So some of the really neat stuff about this one, it's got that great looking white interior in it. You can see all that detail in there with the top down, the wood, the wood wheel. All the uh, black carpet, all the really cool trim along of that. Also has opening doors, opening hood to uh, really get a look at the engine in there. There's steerable front wheels on it, um, accurate interior and chassis. Again, lots of really cool stuff. We've got the white line tires and of course the red with the yellow striping on it as well. And some of the really cool, uh, you know, cool stuff about this. You got some more information on the back of it there and the Hemmings muscle machine it was in. So this is one that we're pretty excited about. Again, love that it's a standalone, uh, just super unique looking uh, looking model for that 1970 Shelby car. So really excited to bring this one out to you guys. And next up for 118, we do have another car. This is actually um, part of our Muscle Car and Corvette National Series, but it's a little bit different than uh, our normal Muscle Car and Corvette National cars. This is the 2016 Nikki Super Camaro. So this car was actually built 
by uh, Nikki Chevrolet, and it was brought to the 2016 Muscle Car and Corvette National Show, and we had talked to them about uh, about replicating the car. So just a super great looking uh, custom job they did. This one has a 625 horsepower engine that was fully built up. Nikki, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, they've been building Camaros since the 60s with just these really crazy cool options on it. You've got this Nikki striping on it. There's gold leaf uh, detailing in that paint there. And you got the, uh, the black flames on the top there. Again, the uh, silver wheels, kind of chrome lip on them. And as with, you can get a look at some of the other information about it there on the back. So another one we're really excited about. And can't wait to see, uh, see you guys pick them up and put them on your shelf. So that's everything for 118. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys slot cars. All right, so for slot cars this month, we got four cars for you guys in a silver screen release. This is a Thunderjet release coming up. So first of the four cars, we've got Christine, the dirty version of Christine here. Here it is with all the dust and dirt, rust on it, just like it was in the movie. Got the for sale sign in the hood, the dust coverings over the top of it, make it look like it's been sitting forever. Even got the details with the missing headlights, just how it was in the movie. Again, it's fun to do something a little different, see what you guys bring out and how you put it on your, on your slot car sets. Next up, for Silver Screen, we are bringing back the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. Make it a little easier to get the uh, singular Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. This is a great one for kids as well. If you're setting up a slot car set for your kids or your grandkids or whoever, or you just love Scooby-Doo like we do. Um, again, super cool detailing on this one. This body really lends itself well to, uh, to a slot car chassis. And you can just see the really crisp details on all the Mystery Machine graphics on it. It's another one we're really excited to bring out. Super, super fun slot car. So next up for Silver Screen, we are bringing back the 1966, the classic TV series Batmobile. So you can see some of the cool detailing here. Got the uh, glossy black on it, the red pinstriping, of course. And again, just making it a little easier for you guys to get a hold of these, these classic Batmobile ones. And you can see, of course, we got to have Batman and Robin both sitting in the uh, inside the Batmobile there. Again, just another really cool one. And in a similar vein, we also have the Penguin Mobile variation or the Bird Mobile. This uh, has some pretty cool detailing. Got the penguin in it, of course, from the episode where he steals the uh, steals the Batmobile in the classic TV series. Got his umbrella at the top. Got another umbrella up on the side and a little penguin on the side of it. And just another really neat one, something a little different. Especially get them both together and uh, have them chase each other in the set. Just another... Really cool one that we're really excited about. So that's everything we've got for slot cars and everything we've got for the month of May. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, checking these videos out. You can always go uh, on our Facebook pages. We'll link those down below, or our Instagram site, or round2corporate.com, see what other cool stuff we have coming out. Thank you guys again for watching these videos. And hey, we'll catch you in June.